morning debutantes. Today we are in the town of Aquaquan. We are going to paint your own pottery classes, but the town is really sweet. We're doing a quick little tour. Okay, we're gonna just skip the dog doing his business. Had enough of that. Details of Aquaquan. So right now, Lori is not the best parker. <laughs> I personally think she parks phenomenal, but that's only because I'm so driving much. you everywhere. So we're gonna find a parking spot and then maybe ooh, what's that spiral creations? Always um, something new. Irwin Engineering. Brambles. Bottle stop. Ooh, Nasbro chocolate and fudge. That's where we're going, bottle stop to eat. Oh, is that okay, cool. Really so good. anyway, so here's just a little looky see of the town, and then we will keep you updated for the rest of the day. This is the very first store that we are going into and I asked permission to film because this shop is just amazing. It's uh, personally yours, seasonal and home decor in Aquaquan, Virginia. Look at this. It's a, it must be an old residence. It's red brick. It has these beautiful windows. And then look, when you walk in this door, could you imagine? Look, at, isn't it beautiful? But they just have, this is the kind of shop that I would like to own someday when I'm a grown up. But I just want to show you a few of the items they have here's those velvet pillows that Miss Stone Home made. You can come on down. <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of show you some of it. Look at this mercury glass lamp. Oh, I like that. I'm all about this red gingham chair. All of these items are hand painted. And this is a butter paddle with a pumpkin. Come on, we all know we want that in our house for fall. I just love these little silhouettes. Sorry about the glare. So this is some of their fall stuff. And no morning, September is not too early to start decorating for fall. We've come up to the upstairs room. Stairs seem to be the theme of my life this trip. Oh, cookie cutters. I need that, like I need a hole in the head. Bunnies, but look at the furniture. I love this primitive little scrimshaw. Oh, look at this heart on the funnel. It's like a burlap heart. It's cute. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. I'm really trying to go slow with the camera this time so I don't make everybody nauseous. Just picked up this cute little pumpkin that you could easily make out of a piece of reclaimed lumber. Like, it's just too, I, know, I mean, it's just what, an oval with a stem with a little washing of orange paint. I like how they use the scale as a display item for flowers, whatever those are. I just love all this furniture. There are the little cute chairs. Oh, look at that. I actually have one of those in my living room. So do you think this might be the title for all of my future videos as I seem to be um, being tempted to be a very bad girl with Lori and Tanner? So yes, so did I just overshare? That's we right. have That's left we personally yours, and now we're going to go to this cute little, yeah, the where's... secret garden cafe. We have to go up more stairs. More stairs. We decided not to go to the secret garden because everything is outside and it is hot. So we are at the Ferryman's Poor House Cafe at Tastefully Yours. Um, that is a picture of the outside of it at Christmas. Isn't that pretty? So we wanted to sit in the air conditioning, so that's where we are now. Um, this is also another little quaint place. I love all these buildings with historical value because of course in Florida you don't have a whole lot of that because we're just a baby state. We ventured into another shop in Aquacorn called Glory Bee. I highly recommend you come into this shop. Everything is absolutely adorable. Prices are amazing. Lori actually found a Coast Guard towel. If you love a Coastie, raise your glass. If not, raise your standards. So she's happy and they have the cutest, cutest. Oh, look at that, the capital ship. I love old books. I do too. So yeah, so this is a two thumbs up. Yep, two thumbs, two thumbs up. I think I found what I need to take home with me. What do you think? Maybe that'll, be, maybe that'll be our thumbnail. So smart. We have poo-pooed the paint your pottery classes. <laughs> they had a bunch of crap and it was really expensive. But they had a better variety of things. I think it would be better, but I wanted to show you how pretty this view was as I walked down yet another set of stairs. All right, debutantes, today is my last full day with Lori. <laughs> <laughs> We've kind of realized it's gone really fast. Like, wait, we want to do this and we want to do that. But the, the 
the gallery wall took us a little longer than we expected. Yeah, a little bit. So we are in Manassas. It's kind of windy. So um, or molasses. Or molasses, as we've been calling it. It's a really cute town, and we're going to take you along. Um, we've already seen lots of places we want to stop. So Lori's hangry again. So I think that might be our first stop. Always hangry. <laughs> the first stop is not food. We have found this amazing old bookstore, and I just love that. No loafing railroad property. And the good, I mean, it's good and it's bad. It doesn't have that like musty old book smell, but they have some really neat books. And I have to tell you, I've already bought two books to take home in my suitcase. And I may be overweight. <laughs> we'll have to see. Look at these. Look at these old books. These are all rare volumes. I know. Well, don't touch them then. I'm not touching them either. So that's the one good thing about being in Virginia. These are from 1895. 1895? These green ones. Try not to make everyone bucks. sick. Stop putting your fingers all over them. <laughs> I love this history because in Florida we just don't have this really old, this really old history. <laughs> Got the opera house here, which is now the things I love shop, which we'll probably go into. And then we just found this cute little shop. It's called Love Charlie. And Charlie is Lori's grandbaby's name. Sorry about the noise. I'm just walking down the street and stumbled upon this little wildflower garden right in the middle of Manassas. Look at those back there too. So pretty. I wish we could like do this. Look at the stained glasses on the old church. See wow, yeah. Yeah. We just stumbled into this, this the things I love shop and it's actually a tea shop. Sing your song, share your joy and you can have high tea here and it's just so yes. beautiful. Look at this. Live it well. Look at that. So pretty. Isn't this a cute idea to do over like a patio table? You see the jars hanging just from, this looks like ribbon, but you could do it from anything. They're all different colors. And then you have over here this cute table, and it's got like a real gossamer fabric, and then some lights and some tool underneath. This shop is really quite beautiful. We're eating again. <laughs> the bone barbecue place. Lori says there's no good barbecue, so we're going to give this a shot, see if we can find some. So I think we've now found the best barbecue place. It's in molasses. <laughs> we got the sampler platter, which was pork, brisket, I'm trying to read it. Pork, brisket, turkey, chicken, ribs. What we were missing something. We didn't get any all right, anyway, this is what we got. It's really good. Chicken, pork, pulled pork, ribs, brisket, and then we got um, coleslaw and potato salad as our sides. And it is, it's good? Absolutely. Angry gone. Yes, so we were smelling something fabulous as we walked down the roads and we figured out what it was. So right by the train station, they have this huge pavilion. The train's taking off, but they have this beautiful little love sign on the train and a red caboose. So for my last meal here in Virginia, Lori is taking, what does that even say? And it's Thai cuisine, I got that part. So we're going for Thai food. Do we like Thai food? Yes. And we got cupcakes, we'll show you that later. Tony would never go eat Thai food, so Lori is taking me. She's been promising me for 11 days. And this is not the restaurant I was promised. This is the second best one. Wait till you see the cupcakes again. Mm -hmm. that, sure, that's supposed to make up for it, huh? So we are in the Thai place. It's actually really cute. It's got some really nice colors, jewel tones. Tanner's eating. I got the beef pad puck. Pad puck. Pad puck. It, the E7 on the menu. And we got some spring rolls and rice. Or I got some cashew. Check it. E8 and Tanner got the same thing I did but with chicken. So we're gonna taste it and see if I run screaming from the restaurant. The Thai food was actually very, very good. It was kind of sweet, but it was good. So now we're gonna go home and eat cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> so not not a whole lot of exciting stuff today. Lori's just so sad I'm going home. Yeah. Tanner's like, yes, she's leaving. I'm so happy. But no more crafts for you, Tanner. I know. You're gonna have to Pinterest it all by yourself. I know. Yeah, so sad. I'm very sad. So next time I come, I'll have to teach them all how to sew. They want to learn how to sew. So, oh, I got a pattern today, a Snow White pattern for 25 cents. I did, I did. Already pre-cut? Yes. So anyway, back to you. <laughs> um, 
we're going home and I'm already pretty much all packed up. So tomorrow I'm leaving on a jet plane. We gotta show you the cupcakes though. Yes, we'll show you those when we go home. So we were crafting last night, but we didn't have the proper finishing touches. I was teaching them how to make pumpkin sweaters. I have a video I will try to remember to link below. We went yesterday to Goodwill and bought some sweaters. And so Tanner, we came home and is immediately crafting. So we are gonna finish up these little pumpkins that we made. We needed sticks for the stems and stuff. So we're gonna do that and then I guess we're gonna eat cupcakes. Yay! Yay! This is Lori's <laughs> attempt at a sweater pumpkin. No regrets. Yes. She did the bottom and then thought, oh, well, the edge is finished. It's just as good as the hat. I'm done. <laughs> awesome. So here are our finished sweater pumpkins. This one is Lori's. Yay, me! Yay! She did it all by herself. All by no, myself. No help at all. Uh-uh. And then we got the baby pumpkins. One of them is mine and two are Tanner's. And then I made the big sister pumpkin to this one. And of course, then you can see the beautiful gallery wall that we completed. And Tanner is MacGyvering his first attempt at a pumpkin. I'm gonna fix this. He's gonna fix it. You need a biopsy of that. <laughs> it actually looks pretty good. I know. Wow. Mm, exactly. So special. So if the word is privileged. <laughs> mm-hmm. So here are our pretty cupcakes in the box. We're going to unveil them. Ooh. We got triple chocolate. Uh. Chocolate mint, chip mint. Chocolate chip mint. Orange. And lemon. I got the triple chocolate. Tanner got the mint. And Lori got the other two. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was cheaper to buy four. I got the orange. Orange. Or they, actually, I got the lemon and then we'll do the something. I don't know. We have one extra and there's only three of us. So I say um, mud wrestling. Excellent. We'll film it. <laughs> we'll have a whole new channel. That'll be the next episode. I say we do the bean boo bean boozled and bean whoever boozled. gets the crappy one has to. No, then you have to eat the cupcake and get bean boozled. Okay. I think I'll leave those for you guys to do. No, no, <laughs> no. No. We had every intention of doing the Bean Boozle Challenge, but um, after the gallery wall, it was a little stressful. So, if you lick all the icing off the cupcake, <laughs> it becomes a muffin, and then it's healthy, right? <laughs> yeah, it's good for you. Oh my heck. There's chocolate on the inside. It's triple chocolate. The angels are singing. Tanner's just laughing. He was a minute ago. It was funny a second ago. All right, so we're going to spin for Kelly first. No, you spin for your, worry about yourself. <laughs> you worry about yourself. No, you no you're a cheater, and... cheater. Yeah, uh -huh. Well, I'm trying to spin okay. it. Yeah. He okay. cheats. What is that? Buttered popcorn or rotten egg. Ooh. I really don't fucking want to. What color is it? Oh, I don't even know. It's I think it's one. on the back. Okay. Do it. Oh, I don't want to. Do it. It's got to be buttered it's popcorn. It's got to be popcorn. Buttered popcorn. <sighs> Damn. All right, Lori. Yeah. Your turn. Spinny, spinny. I got the blue. Yes. <laughs> what are your choices? Toothpaste and? Toothpaste or very blue. Very blue. Very blue. Ha! All right, Yay, my me. turn. Oh, that didn't count. There, that's a spin, people. Let's right on to skunk spray. I can do peach and barf or chocolate pudding or canned dog food. I think I'll go with the chocolate pudding or canned You're brave. Dog food. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. Just, you don't even have a drink. I can say that till I look up. Do you want to? No, you, no, no. I'm tough. I can do it. Dog food. <laughs> <laughs> I think.
think. <laughs> Dog poop. <laughs> and now, <laughs> time has come. That's, that's your segue. And now I face the final curtain. Yes. So, I am on my way home. Boo! Yes! Boo! <laughs> we had our breakfast. And now we're going to the airport. So, yeah, I know. It's kind of like anticlimactic. This is so sad. I know. The 11 days went really fast. It really did. And I must say, Lori and I were both a little worried that after 20-something <laughs> years, it'd be like... A little awkward. I don't like you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to go in my room and just be on my computer, but that never happened. It really didn't. I think the goodbye is more awkward than anything I else. I think it is. Yeah. So, we're on our way to the airport. We don't know how long it's going to take us. We have to go into Washington. Classy J. Okay, can I just make a comment? Every other person in Virginia has a vanity license tag. I don't understand it. I don't. And some of them are stupid. Yes. Like, then we were just making them up for the people we'd see in the car. We were we were being a little catty and rude. Like the guy next to us, Stud M M MFN. Really? Mm -mm. And no. he was, mm -mm 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 -mm. no. No. Mm -mm. I think he may have, no. He was just, no. If he took a shower sometime this year, App, that would have be been a, a plus. beautiful thing. Yes. So it is 1044. I have to be at the airport by 1130, give or take. So. That was good. I think my husband really missed me, which is a plus. It'll be nice to see Thanks him. Thanks for letting her play with me for 11 days, Tony. Yes. So we've decided that we need to now go on a cruise. Yes! With our husbands. Yay! Yay! So anyway, if anything else happens that you can't live without knowing, I will do my best to turn the camera. We'll fill you in. All right, guys. I'm at the gate, ready to board my flight to West Palm. I'm so glad I have to go down to Fort Lauderdale. I am not a flyer, and this was a little bit of a nerve-wracking experience, but I had an amazing time, and I am looking forward to seeing my husband and my family, um, so that's about it for right now, but um, I will talk more about my trip. We never got a chance to really sit down and talk about Charlie and her cystic fibrosis, so I want to get all the information for that because um, she's just an amazing little girl, and I think you need to know about that. So goodbye for now. I'm just going to sit back and de-stress from this process and I will see all of you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed the 11 days I had with Lori and Tanner. It was absolutely amazing. I think we're going to plan a cruise with just our, us and our husbands. Um, so we'll see what happens then. So um, bye guys. I'll see you next time.